Yo, what's up? It's your boy James Ismeen. AKA Stickman from the infamous band Furia 5. And as you heard, it's not no April Fool's joke, but Furia 5 is playing This Is Hardcore this year. And I'm here to dead these rumors that you might be hearing about the band. So, the main reason why I'm decided to do Furia 5 in 2014 is for the fans, new and old, and my friends who support the band 100. You see, there's a lot of controversy surrounding Furia 5. Why, I don't know what the big problem is, but we'll get to that later on. But for right now, my, my, my main goal is to bring you Furia 5 like it was 1994 to 1998 all over again. And this is not a joke, this is not a jam, this is not a reunion. This is me gonna play songs that I put my heart into for people that haven't heard them, some of them have, and I feel that the people deserve to hear Furia 5 live, and that's what I'm gonna do this year at This Is Hardcore. Now, I know out there is one hater in Jersey <laughs> that says that had nothing to do with the writing of the music of Fury 5, which is total bullshit. Now, I'm not taking nothing away musically from the people that were in the band, but I definitely had a lot to do with the musical direction and arrangements of songs, backing vocals. I wrote many riffs vocally. I even wrote the drum beat to This Time Is Personal in the very beginning. So I had a lot of hands on with these songs. And I'm not taking any credit away from Chico, Jay Fury, Mike Terry, Johnny Anger, Mark Goldman, or Chris Rage, but I had a lot to do with the musical writing of Fury of Five, period. And anybody got a problem with that, they can come see me and we can talk about it in person, but I doubt that, that will ever happen. So in 2010, there was a controversy about did I ask original members if I could do Fury of Five songs, which makes no sense to me. But they were asked previously at a 10 year anniversary time and they all said no. So this time I took all the right angles. I asked a member directly and he asked other members for me and all have declined. I asked Jay Fury in 2010 through an email if I could do the Fury Jam, he gave me a blessing, and the way he wrote it, it brought me to tears. And uh, so I didn't ask Jay Fury this time because I figured he probably wouldn't do it anyway because he's a businessman. So all the members were asked, all have de declined. So I'm taking the ball and running with it. Bottom line, I'm bringing Fury of Five to This Is Hardcore this year, 2014, July 27th. Now, there's nothing more that I'd rather do than play with the original guys. But unfortunately, none of them want to do it, but I'm always open to it. These guys that I'm playing with right now know that any time they could lose a spot to an original member. I told them that straight from the door. If Mike, you know, Riss Hill, Chico want to do it, Jay Fury want to do it, Johnny Anger want to do it. They're all welcome to it. So somebody asked me if I could go back in time and redo things, would I do them differently? Nah, not even close. All the escapades and stuff that came with Fury of Five made the band what it is. All the antics, the violence, the, the mayhem, the beating up of our own booking agent. and You can't change that. The band wouldn't be what it is today if it wasn't for those stories that all these new fans hear, you know what I mean? The old fans and friends live off and love telling, I wouldn't change a fucking thing. Not at all, bro. <laughs> but now, 20 years later, I'm a different dude, more responsible, got grandkids and job and things, you know what I mean? Of course, I'm gonna have a different approach on how I handle business and, and bands and or whatever I do, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm, I grew up. 
you know what I mean? Not to the point where I don't act like a kid because I'm still reckless. I spend money recklessly. I just ride my bike recklessly, you know what I mean? And still go to hardcore shows at 46 years old. But when I go back in the past and change things, nah, I don't have no regrets. That's for real. Now we're off to PA to where Fury 5 is practicing chilling in my 2013 Maxima, you know how we do it real big. So, heading out there with my man Diggy, El Rock Records, Red Room Studios, doing some big things. We always doing big things around here. All you haters ain't doing shit but complaining behind the fucking keyboard. Stop that bullshit, you little girls. Man, what do we got here? So, here we are, Fury practice. 2014, 20 years later, I'm gonna introduce you to my squad that will be playing. This is hardcore. So right over here, this is my homie, my brother, BFL, Sean Guillotine. What's up, what's up? What's up, man? Tell him who you are, let him know. Sean, New Jersey native. Grew up listening to Fury 5. Now I get to play with my homeboy. That's what's up. <laughs> so that's what's up. My man Sean, over here, I got another GFL brother, a homie from another. This is my man Derek Haymaker, <laughs> straight out of Erie, Pennsylvania. Represent, tell them who you are, son. Derek Ricci. I'm from Erie, Meadville, PA. Just excited to play in Fury. Nice. That's what's up. So, you just met Derek and Sean, BFL oh, sure. brothers. But right here, you might have seen him before. He did 2000. 10 Fury Jam with me. This is my homie, Dave Devastation. Let him know what's up, baby. My name's Dave from Phoenixville. But for a long time, decided to play with these guys again. Went to the Bloods Factory. Just pumped. That's what's up. And over here, the Fast Break Records, my man Soda. AKA Johnny War Beats. That's what we just named him. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And he also, in 2010, did the Fury Jam with me. Soda, AKA Johnny War Beats. Now it's a pleasure playing with Fury 5. So there you have it the lineup 2014, Fury 5. We're coming. Beware. Bring that old shit back. We out. Peace.